Let's talk. No! Warning, this show contains spoilers. Spoilers on top of spoilers. All right, guys. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nerds Weekly Podcast. Finally back after our pretty much our holiday break. Mm -hmm, maybe. Uh, we're going to jump right back into it with our continual review of Young Justice. Did we missed two episodes? Yeah, we missed the last two because we didn't do it last week. Okay. I'll be the one to start critiquing that. <laughs> didn't like yeah, it. Okay. I, I didn't like it. <laughs> there, there were um, there like uh, there were there would have been good episodes if you just followed a different type of story instead of what they're going with, like now. <laughs> like, I I honestly do not care about um Vandal Savage's backstory, um Nabu, like I don't care about them. Like they they, they were cool, but they could have been like they, they that potential could have been on a different episode, uh -huh. like whole entirely. That depending on like um them two being like uh, out of conflict with each other, yeah. But uh, th they serve no purpose other than just saying like, yeah, Vandal Savage w was partnered with a Chaos God r when the cavemen were like you know dang, so mm -hmm. cool. Like now you know that and how the Atlantis is part of his story and how yeah. like uh, for every civilization is part of his story. Yep. Everything's, Everything's connected him. to him. Mm -hmm. And Nabu was just like. Talking about order and like you know order and chaos and how they're they're, they're supposed to be um, balanced, yeah, re restrained. Like of course we know that that's that's sort of your whole thing. Yeah. But uh, then they talk about like you know all, all this shit with uh you know religion and all that. Like I oh, just yeah. <laughs> I I don't yeah. care about these stories like uh, religion and all that didn't serve a part in this not like in this story of of, of Doctor Fate like you know. Uh, yes, I, know, I know you're not a big fan of the kids themselves, the Sentinels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fucking absolutely dislike them because uh, they're the reason why they're kept in there for their, they're they're like these two parts. First one I hate because the trials were so fucking terrible. Like, oh, I'm suffering. Oh. <sighs> tears, tears, and then fucking like I'm I'm manned. I, I manned up immediately after that. Like, come on. At least add some like some sort of conflict with them instead of like um you know something um personal, like doubt, self doubt, and all that. Like every, all of us go through that in some way or another. Like yeah. it isn't something that uh, if you expect Doctor Fate to, to put like a test on you, do you expect it to be something about your personality? <laughs> well, I don't understand what their personality has to do with fighting a chaos god, especially with their magical uh, abilities. Yeah, like. like uh, it, 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 literally, there's no magic involved other than um, what you got the the Shazam girl. Yeah, like uh, she 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 used the magic to help help her save herself. Yeah. Well, and but, she uh, she like, could she could take people's magic because I remember they're all don't take don't take my magic or don't ask don't do that again without asking or something. So she could take their magic. I think it's like how Shazam I think it's more to heal he her. Can, um, yeah, he can like absorb magic and stuff, or like take or give magic. Okay. Yeah. But I really don't like her character at all. They make the power of Shazam seem so evil and corrupting. Like, I know she's, like, about the whole, her whole thing was like, oh, I can be a hero without my Shazam form. Yeah, by, by substituting with magic. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, you could be infinitely more stronger and help people but you're not because you're afraid to master this power that Shazam can give or take away from you at any point. Like, yeah, if Shazam not... sees you as being like a threat to everybody, he, he just snatches power back. He, he lent it out to you, not to you. You just get, had it uh, from the start. Yeah, so like, learn to use it, not fear it. Like, that's the whole, that's supposed to be the whole idea of most of the heroes in DC or even Marvel. Is you know they're always afraid to use their powers, and then but they're supposed to you know learn to accept it. And but with her, it's just she's yeah, just put it up, awful. put away. Yeah, and it's, it's like kind of it's like her backup. It sounds like to me, it seems like if she's in trouble, she will call upon that power. But I, it takes it's control. Kind of, it's it looked like it would take control of her or something. No, I, I don't no, know. It's her. It's, 
it's her. It's mainly I see with her characters that she's power hungry, and she wants to get over that um, type of personality trait that she has. Yeah. So she instead of using Shazam, um, like she she's a she just wants to use magic and and all that because she doesn't want to have all that power and be um a like not threat but be consumed because the power is not affecting her because it doesn't affect anybody. It only expects you to do what's needed. But uh, she she's the the error in this like um, relationship because she she's power hungry. So if Shazam lends out his power, does that give him less power? No, no. Okay, he, he so it, does, it doesn't. It just doesn't affect him at all. Because that yeah. that's what I was saying. Also, if he's lending out his powers and it's affecting him, and she doesn't even use it, he might as well just take it back. Then. Yeah. Oh, well, she uses it like, in like the weakest way. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, you know, she, she uses does. it um, separately, like using yeah. the the power, like the, the speed of Hermes. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> not not Shazam. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I heard her say say the strength of Hercules and stuff like that. That's a, I was wondering yeah. why she she just yeah turned into Shazam until like you know they said there was conflict in it. Yeah, the, oh. like the thing is just the power of Shazam is not bad. It's actually a good thing. Like it's a, it's, it's like a like a guardian. Like a guardian, like uh, I forget what he actually is, but it's not uh, doesn't have any um, bad blood of origin. It's yeah. meant to be solely good, not uh, bad. So, like, if it had like this effect on her, it's her, not the power much. Yeah. So it's like, just her. It's her personality. Yeah. yeah, it's like Black Adam, pretty much. But Black Adam was something else completely. No, yeah, he was but just yeah. jealous. Well, not just, but he he just didn't like being replaced. Yeah, and then you have, but I, I I just I hate another reason I hate this this character is all these characters in like in Young Justice, right? It was okay when they were younger, right? That they couldn't like take on villains directly, like they always had to find other ways. But as I continue to be a trope, where like they're just not, they just don't feel powerful. They don't feel like superheroes. No, like. They can't let her turn into Shazam because, or her Shazam form because she'd be too strong for the plot. <laughs> like, it's always that, like, if you notice all these characters, they never, they always get beat. They never are able, like, until, like, you know, usually like, at the end of the season, they have, like, some way to outsmart the enemy, but they are always beat. So when or you enemy. say, when you say when she turned into her Shazam form, that she's just too powerful, so. If she changes it into her Shazam form, you think she could beat Child like easily? No, no, she no, needs help. Easily. Yeah, but Child she is would... like a seven or like a multiple Chaos Lords into one. She yeah, could, like Child, like Shazam could probably take on like at least one, two, two, yeah, like like at, at once. But he, he still required help because that he isn't all op op. He's actually pretty like uh, he's strong, he's really strong, and that's. Strong enough to take out the whole like legion of them chaos. See, but, and, and that's she'd be more, but she'd be more useful. Mm -hmm. And that's my problem with some of this. Um, with this, this story is uh, okay. This is like the chaos lords. They know that there's all seven of them, but fate doesn't want anyone else to help him. And now, sitting when he decides, oh well, maybe I should have people to help him. It's gonna be like the B team. <laughs> yeah. you're not gonna call superman you're not gonna call you know all the other guys i mean not well, even a b team this is yeah. more like a fucking all the way <laughs> to like, a g team a g yeah team. like this is this, like you can go find there are more way more powerful like obviously they like tried to explain oh look like, all these they're all busy trying to stop these natural disasters being created by child but like you could there are so many magical users he could go find. Constantine, yeah. um, well, Raven's not in this world. So, um, That's not yet. Yeah, not, not that we know of. You know, he could go grab Etrigan again, shoot, uh, just any any of these characters that just... Yeah, like, seriously, the only thing good about G-Team is that uh, Zatanna's <laughs> there. That <Zatanna's> there. <laughs> like, Zatanna's there, so... And and Doctor Fate, like they they could recruit Doctor Fate, Zatanna, um, like uh, Constantine, even Superman. He's not magic, but he's he's strong. Go find Shazam. Yeah, Shazam. He's he's probably out there like helping. 
Okay, he he's a good muscle. Well, and, they could uh, actually okay. have the Shazam. The other what I think there was, I think there was five of them, right? I think in yeah, the comics, it's usually only like three, isn't there? Shazam and his two siblings. It's not like the no, movie where he like gave each individual power. Powers, oh, okay. Well, there's mainly three, but it, he does have like a whole family, like the show in the movie. Like I have powered up, but uh, like uh, he could come in. He's he's the strongest of the bunch, and like a multiple, like even some villain users. Like you saw the the wizard helping. Yeah, it's just that uh, there's lots of heroes that could uh, heroes and villains that could team up to help. Also, Doctor Face was so disappointing. Like <laughs> just he just got bitch slapped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his helmet like, stayed cracked. And what's more annoying that they they just uh, well not killed, what's his name Clarion? You know, like uh, destroyed his um hook, his anchor, like you know just snapped it and just then he he went back to the to the Chaos Lords. Oh yeah, yeah, the cat. Yeah, he killed the. Uh, I think the cat's yeah. name is Tiki. Yeah, Tiki. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. sad. I was I was sad when I saw the cat die. Well, it was just disappointing how like how it was like. Oh, you think your cat's so strong? Breaks neck and just there. Hey, he he's he's defeated. Yeah, like, and then he and, and, and then he turns into the magic school bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so confused at the end of the not this last episode, but this episode before that. Where like oh the ending the yeah it was a kid yeah, screaming I was like, what is this <laughs> my son comes in the room and he was all dad is this like a nightmare magic school bus and I'm all I don't know what this is ah <laughs> 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 uh, like the the, the, the episodes are, I got if both of them together they're, they're just low in rating for me yeah for them I just give them four out of ten like I just not not enjoying it like they're they're, they're introducing well. Mainly the other story, the, the science story, Beast Boy, Depression. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 everything that you could possibly go wrong with a story like that, you're, they're doing it. Nobody's like in the show is actually t- giving a shit about them. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just, oh, Blue Devil, like, re- fucking, uh, f- like a few episodes, like, uh, like a go and just said, like, hey, are you doing fine? Like, are you good? And, then, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, I just need some sleep. And that's all the time when he actually gets some care. And another one is with, like, with his um, stepdad. Like uh, the, the 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 direct, not the director, but the director um, his, or, his agent. Or, oh, his show agent. one he got yeah gets replaced in the show. He he he's the only one that actually cared because he noticed and well not cared cared he wanted money, yeah. but uh, he 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 wants that the, his money maker to be fine. So yeah. he. He showed some sense of caring, even if it's not in the right place of art. And well, like, just that 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 like, whole scene, like, because I told you before, Wolf, like, I thought maybe this they hadn't broke. I I hadn't think about it all the way through. I thought perhaps maybe they hadn't broke the news about Superboy's death yet. Mm-hmm. Maybe they didn't. They maybe they didn't tell it yet. But then as I talked to Wolf about it shortly after, he's like, "Oh wait, no, Superboy has an actual hologram statue in the Justice League Tower now." Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they have that. Yeah, and 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 obviously, so I could also confuse like his superhero team was just being dicks to him. Oh like, yeah, like, like stop like, sleeping, stop sleeping. Why aren't you coming with us? Like they're being that typical like movie trope of people not caring or noticing depression, even though that's just not that's not, not what's happening. They, yeah, they're, they're just that. how they're being portrayed is that they don't care. Yeah, they, they they only they want him for the missions. They just want him to be himself. They don't. Want, they just want to get over it. Like yeah, they, well, it's nothing it's not about him character. getting. Yeah, that's not what those characters would be like. That's not who they are. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it seems like they're just throwing that story in in there. Say what they want to do with the story, or have Superboy, you know, yeah. do the Superboy story. Just have it come out Jesus, because. Yeah, They're just putting little the main focus. Yeah, bits of these well, this little fine. thing, and yeah. then what? Miss Martian is still traveling back. Yep. It's taking the, that long. I mean, it's yeah, already they, been... they, they had they handled so that would have been a, a, a fine little side story because yeah. they handled that good. I thought like she had her little confrontation with her sister, and bam, it was done. You know. Yeah, the yeah, beast but, the uh, beast boy one. They're yeah. dra- they're dragging that. 
Yeah. It's like I told Wolf before, like they're trying to turn this show into like a casserole of all all of these social political issues. Well, I mean, but and the chaos the, the chaos yeah. thing doesn't really have anything to do with the other two stories because the other well, story was a big political thing about racism and stuff yeah. against the aliens. The second one was mm-hmm. a family thing. I mean, I guess the this one is about supposed to be about order and chaos. Well, no, well, now so, they have mental health, but now they dragged religion into it. Oh, They're man. trying to play the religion card, which isn't doesn't make any sense in a universe like this. In a world where literal gods exist, religion would be thrown completely upside down, or you'd have superheroes based on their religion. Yeah. Like you'd have Christian, like angelic superheroes, or Islamic superheroes, or Buddhist superheroes, or whatever. They, you know, that make their identity based on their religion because a lot of people do that in modern day, but they don't. They don't want to take that extra step. They don't want to. They don't want to commit that hard. They just want to throw it in there, and it's kind of cringy. I must have missed the religion part because I didn't get that in the two stories. Remember the they, first remember the, the in the the trials. Remember that one kid? He's Islam. Yeah, and then he wants to be a doctor and. He said he's going to magic, magic but, and he's going to bring on both science yeah. and his religion. His religion. And I remember yeah. um, Zatanna? Yeah, the father. Remember he was talking about his, <laughs> he's Christian and he did like the cross thing. And oh, okay. He did the prayer. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, okay. I didn't really put that as a big real focus kind of thing because I was looking at Randall Savage and the fate thing of the, yeah. about him and his uh, son. You know, the conflict oh, I, with that. And and then I think in this last episode, he talked more about praying and stuff. And it's just, it was yeah. just so more obvious because they literally did one religion to a back to, a, to, to, another, back to religion. another religion. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, again, religion in a world like DC universe just wouldn't be the same. It would either be stronger or it'd be even worse. You know, like people, there'd be a, like, obviously, I don't think atheism could really exist in the same sense that we do now like obviously yeah people like believe that they're not actual gods or that they don't you know yeah but i think it just be name some other thing other than yeah it wouldn't be not religion. Religion. god yeah so it just it would just, it would just turn everything upside down like either it'd be stronger or there'd be less belief in it i don't know um, i think they're doing a lot of explaining though zatanna's dad who is what what's his actual superhero name what? Zatara? Yeah. Zatara. No, her, what's her dad? Her dad's name was... What was her? Zatara. Zatara, yeah. Zatanna. Is her Zatanna, okay. So, yeah, they his backstory, Randall Savage's backstory, and every episode, it's like a backstory of somebody. So that's why I was just like, Dr. Fate showed his and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know. I don't really... I'm not really enjoying that that much of... Okay, we I we know, Earth, yeah. The but not every, just, but not every yeah. single episode. I mean, when it first started, I was like, okay, well, that's good. They're explaining this, but now every single episode is, well, this is the history of this, and this is the back. You know, this is why Doctor Fate chose him. Where, you know, it's okay, but I don't. Know, I don't really like it for every single one, and it and now it looks like that's how these stories are going to go is every single one's going to go from a backstory to something else when you know we don't know who the other chaos the gods that keep the order yeah the gods of order why aren't they helping and then they're all well they wouldn't want to help but the chaos it's out of order yeah (laughs) this is what they do (laughs) they should I because Doctor Fate was one of my favorite DC superheroes for the longest time. Still is. He's pretty high up there. But the way he's been portrayed, like the last couple years, it's kind of shitty. Um, <laughs> he just he just get he just got slapped. <laughs> you know, he just got he just got wrecked. So I like I don't understand. And then he said he's still so hesitant to help. Yeah. Well, he said that the other. The other um, gods wouldn't help. That's not... I think he said it like... That's, that's not their way. Yeah, they're not their way or their place, but if all seven of the chaos ones are trying to destroy it, they're not keeping order of anything. Why should only one of them handle it? 
you know, that's why I was all, it makes, it makes no sense. It's just like, to me. It, it really doesn't. <laughs> like, I, I don't know why they, I know that Dr. Fair's like, oh, they don't want to get their hands dirty, but why not? This is everything to them. Order is every. That's why I really hope they, I know they won't. But I really hope they bring my favorite one of my favorite villains called Equinox into the play, so he just fucks everything up. <laughs> well, they, they had time for that, but it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen because I don't think anyone even remembers that that villain anymore. <laughs> <Besides> <laughs> so, do you think this is going to be the last story, or are they gonna bring it all together with another what, story? What episode is this again? Well. Episode- 12? I mean, every season has about 24 episodes. So there, there might be a... They might redeem themselves with another story? I, I mean, I think no. they have. There's too many so. stories being thrown into the, like, this pot, which is this not one. mixing well. <laughs> yeah, it's not mixing well. It's, it's not turning into a fine soup. It's a casserole <laughs> without any key ingredients. <laughs> but... Like, it's just, uh, this, this, like, if they keep throwing stories and explaining... Uh, explain, explaining Characters are self-explanatory. What the fuck is even the point of explaining at that point? <laughs> well, and they because didn't. They haven't finished the actual first story because you don't know who those people. Well, you know they're the Legion, but you don't know where they fit into the story yet. You don't know what happened to yeah. Superboy. Beast Boy is still, you know, depressed. Yeah, depressed. Miss Martian hasn't come back. They closed out the other story. So that's kind of good with Tigress and Tigress. Yeah, yeah, Tigress. It's another story that's just self-explanatory. You yeah. knew their conflict in the earlier episodes, so there's no point in just saying, "Hey, look, she's been abused by her father." Yeah. Hey, look, the other one is just coming back to steal some food. Hey, look, <laughs> like it's just what's the whole point? Like we you already know. Yeah. The and only then, thing uh, that was ever good about those episodes was all the cool little quotes at the end, in the end credits. That was it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and I guess uh, Shade. Shade was pretty cool. Other than that, we've been going down like a road of fucking bumps. Where yeah. There's nothing good. Like, like other this, than just this, like little pieces. This series, this season started off so good. Like they were tackling the idea of racism really well in a cool, creative way. The story was compelling. It was interesting because they introduced the Legion. And then it just. Yeah. That's just well there's just a whole bunch of yeah, there's just all these stories. No all these stories. There's the last two stories that really have nothing to do with the first story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, well, they're just it's too I much. mean as, yeah, especially the last one. Like I said, the uh Tigress one, that was okay. And then they closed it. So I thought right after that one it would be, you know, they would go back to Beast Boy and Miss Martian and explain the Legion while they were there. So I thought that's was what was going to happen, and then they opened up the magic. And even when it first when it first started, the magic one, I was like, okay, well, it's interesting. Now they're going with magic, but now the story is kind of like blah. Especially yeah, and- since I think it's just because there's too much explanation. You know, they're all okay. Well, this is the past. This is why these are why they have metas. And then Randall Savage. I mean, I Randall Savage. He's he's one of my favorite villains because they always throw him in movies and all that other stuff. But I don't know. It's just, it's a little bit too much. I don't like how, like, like you were saying, Hornet, how he's the centerpiece of everything. everything. It seems like the, yeah. the universe seems so small. Yeah. It's, 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 it's maybe because they're not exploring any other planet. It's just earth and, and you know, yeah. whatever outside threat there is. It's just like the Vandal Savage has always been the problem with, with these things. You know, he, he's created and destroyed civilizations. Yeah. Just because he wanted to, because of chaos and order needed to balance. I, I, I know for the future, they'll have, they'll have, they'll, they'll, hopefully they'll tackle a Superboy story this season. Yeah, I hope they do. Especially like, <laughs> that'll like, be, a, you know, that'll that, be that annoying if they don't. Thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> seriously. If they just kind of tackle that with um Superboy, you know, like how they explain death to him. Yep. So. Like it's just like the the younger Superboy, like uh, he should have uh, had like a story with like everybody else is like uh, moving on from Superboy's death, but yeah. they didn't do that. They decided to just say that's not a story. That's more of a you know, 
You know, that was a perfect. That would have been an even. That would have been a better time to tackle religion if they wanted to actually do it. They could have been like, because all they said is, "Well, we believe that this is just the end of this journey." They didn't tackle anything else about faith or religion in that scene. Yeah, they could have easily could have. done it. Oh, that yeah, would have been perfect yeah. timing. Yeah, tackle like death in there and each new, like each not new, but eight other religions. Yeah, but they. They did again. They they don't want to commit to it because it's such a t- they know it's a touchy subject and they don't have the balls to actually. Yeah, but it's even it. more shittier to do it in the wrong way. Yeah, and then but then they do it half assedly and it's even worse. So it's like it's better to at least try so they know like you tried <laughs> yeah. instead of like you know saying like ah we we tried halfway then we sort of just gave up. Yeah, because then you mess up everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because at least you're always you're never gonna be able to please everyone. But if you half ass it, then you're just gonna piss off everyone. Back at the older seasons, they yeah, season three and season one, season two, they were very consistent in their storytelling. They always focused on like a handful of characters. They didn't jump around like this. Yeah, these are so many characters being told like a like specific story and then you know being thrown off the, the bandwagon to like select a new one. Yeah, like in season like last season, it was all about the outsiders team, mm-hmm. so called them. You know, you had Geo Force and Violet or Halo. So when are we gonna get Nightwing, Aquaman, or oh, uh, yeah. new Aquaman? What? Who, who's another one? I think that's the only ones we haven't really seen anything because we've seen Artemis, Tiger. I guess whatever. Uh, not Queen Bee, but uh, who, who's the black chick in the team? Oh, Rocket. Yeah, Rocket. Like, uh, that's why. Geez, oh, but... I guess her. Like, when are we gonna see her again after multiple I, episodes of not seeing her? I remember when I was a kid, way back in like 2010. Like I was like 13. Yeah, 13. Um, I was watching. The, I remember watching like the first season. And I thought it was so cool. Cool. They have a balanced confirmed team you know they had three girls three guys it was aqualad kid flash robin zatanna rocket and then uh, miss martian it was a cool complex little team and then and season two came up. yeah and then season, season two came half the team was grown up and in the justice league the other half was <laughs> nightwing was or no in season in season two, Aqua Lad was a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, because like, I, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, it was because he was a double agent. Yeah, he was a double agent, and it's just like, uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> but that turned out good. Think. The season two turned out, I think, pretty good. I mean, yeah, the, the the stories were still good. It's just we never got in the focus on the original team, like I. I thought it was going to be like a Teen Titans thing where you had to see the same team. For yeah, I mean, for where it while. went, it was still good, but I still wanted to see because it was funny because all their chemistry was really good too. Because I mean, almost all of them were dating at the end of season one. <laughs> but another thing, all the all the good relationships always die, and all the toxic ones are the ones who survive. <laughs> yeah, just, and that's another. Thing. I want to see Martian be, not be so Superboy. Yeah, I want to see Beast Boy if he gets back with his girlfriend or not, or if they're going to break up. I really hope they don't. I like their relationship, but like, at this rate, but well, he know. hasn't talked to anyone. It seems like he's been sleeping, yeah, he's- or he can't sleep, or you know. And you saw all the pills on his thing too. And th- yeah, that that was what yeah, I didn't like about his team is they're not really caring. Yeah, they're not. You know, they're. Like, you can tell he's physically drained. Yeah. Yeah, like Beast Boy's situation isn't his fault. He needs help. Like yeah. you just don't get there because you want to. Nobody just wakes up one day and decides to be depressed. Yeah. Or like any sort of a thing. It's just that he's not, he needs help and nobody's giving it to him. Like, also, not even the caretakers. I just realized they have mandatory. I remember what was it season two. Or not season two. Episode two, they had like that end credit scene where it's like they had the mandatory um, therapy sessions. Yeah, ma- mandatory therapy sessions. Why the fuck hasn't he got a therapy session? If anything, like he, he Superboy just died. Everyone, they should like be mandatory. He go like what, at least once a week. 
Mm-hmm. Like this is just leading up to an episode where it goes to a dark turn. Yeah. yeah well, and something. like they're just like we're like I was saying, they're just showing little bits of Beast Boy stuff. Why if they showed Tigress how she was really broken up and she was going out and beating up people? Why isn't she talking to Beast Boy? Superman is back on Earth. Why isn't he talking to Beast Boy? You know, does nobody nobody cares <laughs> about Beast Boy? I mean, no, not the, the why? Everyone, yeah, why isn't his? Why isn't the team calling Superman and Tigress and everybody who knew Superboy and be like, uh, Beast Boy has been sleeping for the last because this is like months now. It's supposed to be yeah. right. The timeline is supposed to be months, and he still. Why aren't they saying? Well, he hasn't been out in missions, and why hasn't anyone noticed that he hasn't been out in missions except that one guy? And then that one guy's like, "Oh yeah, you're okay." So I just need sleep, and he's like, "Okay, well he seems okay." Well, now he's sleeping, yeah. so he's okay now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, and that's what Wolf and I were hoping. Like, because he, you could tell he still had some concern when he like told him about the thing, and like right before he closed the elevator. Yeah. We were hoping that he would be the den mother and actually continue to try and talk to him. But yeah, they but, haven't showed anything, anything nothing. about that. Just, that was it. Yeah. And then yeah, you don't, like, yeah, you don't know anything about his girlfriend too, because the last scene about her was those end credits when he was flipping through his phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she doesn't, like, she hasn't tried to contact him or call him. I mean, it's just well, that's why the one day his, his girlfriend is a, is a queen, so she she doesn't really have time to. Um, oh, like, uh, time. Well, no, she she's been contacting. It's just he's been ignoring. Yeah. She, oh, okay, so she, she can't just can't physically shows up. She just can't just go there. Off. Yeah. But I don't know. That's why I don't like these little things thrown in. They should just have a sto- have that story so they could close out that chapter and have something else. You know, because I mean, it it doesn't fit in with this magic thing. They're just throwing it in and then you're all, oh, "Okay, well there's Beast Boy. Oh, he's still sad." And then, "Okay, oh no, it's the Chaos God." <laughs> Because this whole depression thing could be a really good story. I mean, it's it's very natural feeling. Of course, he's going to be sad. Of course, he's going. I mean, but it's just there, and it's not being addressed right. None of his. And I don't. It, I know there's some shitty friends out there, right? Yeah. But that's his it's team, and like, they're living together. They're all living yeah. together. And they're like <laughs> they're all like siblings or brothers and sisters to each other at this point. Like I know if like. Like if Wolf or Reno, if like you guys had a brother that died, because that's pretty much what Superboy was. If you guys had a brother that died, I'd be hitting you up like every day, being like, "Hey, you okay? Everything good? Like, what's going on?" Especially if, I mean, it's kind of difficult because we all, well, like Wolf and I, live far away from each other. But like, say we all lived next to each other, and I was like, "Hey, Wolf, you want to go out and do this?" And I. With me and Wolf, I'm pretty sure we live closer together. We'd probably go out and do stuff all the time, go see movies or travel or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, if all of a sudden Wolf just stopped doing that and never came out, I would I'd be going to his house and be like, "Hey, what's wrong, man?" Blah, blah, you know, yeah, constantly trying to like, not be like, "Hey, I like, show up at your house one day. Hey, man, you okay? Yeah, I'm just tired. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, text me later." He said he's fine. Yeah. Two, two or three days later, you know, news pops up, something tragic, and it's a person you know. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, he told me he was fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I hope they don't kill him off, like, a suicide or no, something. They aren't. They aren't that great. I can see a suicide attempt coming, though. Like, coming? Yeah. Like, over they, they're not going to kill him off, like, especially do it, like, a dark way that way. <laughs> That's no. real. Oh, Young Justice just turned really dark. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> God. Show them hanging. <laughs> and after that, they, you know, they switched to a different story, which is like... Yeah. No, that would be the end credit credit thing. Turn, turn, <laughs> turn, turns into a dog and overdoses on chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. That's bad. Sweet death, at least. <laughs> One way to die. Yeah. What else could he do by t- using his powers? Sorry, I'm I'm going down this ominous road now. <laughs> turns to a snake snail, and something very big. Turns to a snail and crawls in the salt. Ooh, <laughs> <Ew>. knocks <Not> himself. <laughs> it's another way. 
Come, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Be a bird and fly into like a jet engine. Or a <laughs> one jet, face. jet engine. Turns into a fish and suffocate himself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah. if his power would, like force him to turn back before he dies. Like, you know, now. Oh, never <laughs> That reminds me of what I was talking to, like, um, Noah earlier. Like, um, imagine that like, he does do the, the, the rope thing, you know? He's there hanging. And, you know, his powers just go haywire. And he just transforming while he's like, suffocating. <laughs> I think he would yeah, just uh, transform into something really small so he wouldn't die. No, 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 not like, like a specific animal. Like, every body part turns into something else. <laughs> <laughs> it gets like a monkey limb, a fish yeah. leg. Oh, just imagine yeah. what, what somebody, if that happened when they find him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is what you get when you don't address stuff properly. We gotta make our own fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like seriously. He's not, he's not gonna be killed off. Honestly, yeah. like for, they're not, they don't have the guts. They're not doing that. They're not going down that road. The, the, the attempts, maybe, they might give him an attempt and, you know, then actual concern from other characters will happen or you know they're just gonna actually be some support but uh, i i don't think there's gonna be an actual him like it ditch his body in like uh, on a like side of a bridge you know, <laughs> near, near a river <laughs> i don't know he has to just close they have to just close that chapter of the story my something. assumption is that miss martin's going to come back to earth finally and talk to him she Hopefully. goes into her Martian rage and just kill everybody for not supporting him. All right. <laughs> well, or he might get hurt on a mission because he did go and try to do his show. So maybe he'll actually go out on a mission with his team and get somebody hurt. Something like that. Because I think. Possibility. Yeah, I think that <laughs> would maybe snap him out of it because, you know, he's hurting mm. someone else. And that was one of the things, too, when he was up, up there on Mars, when um, him and Superboy, he was worried about. Hurting Superboy or yeah, Superboy he, getting hurt. He was, yeah. He was having serious PTSD issues. Yeah. But now, yeah, now he has chronic depression, PTSD. Well, which he's, which he told, I didn't, he told Superboy that, right? Or he told somebody that. He so told I don't. Martian. And, so, but they, they like repaired it because they got hurt worse when he got like mind attacked by like the other Martians. Martians, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's why I think, you know, why isn't anyone else. Focusing on Beast Boy. I mean, they know well, that they, that happened. They have literal therapy sessions and are supposed <laughs> to be focusing on mental health within the league. And I just yeah. remember, I guess they did have like another religious thing where like, and that's another thing that confuses me. Or like, it's kind of like what? It's like they had another religious thing with uh, Halo or Violet was talking to in her therapy session about wanting to get connected to religion. Well, that, that actually makes sense because she's. Yeah. A different person by technicalities yeah. she's like yeah. the the person that experienced that religion is her but not her because you know she's a different person mentally yeah. and like in, in every shape or form because uh like she knows her she now knows her true identity which was a religious like a person oh, her, oh yeah the person she took over yeah okay yeah but uh, like it's it's conflicting because that, that's not her. But she feels like she needs to connect to that, so she doesn't feel like she betrayed this vessel that was owned by somebody else before her. Yeah. But uh, like this other shit is just that. Hey, look, my religion can help me get over over like this thing. So I- I'm your school. <laughs> or, or fucking um like uh, Doctor Fate with just uh just being like. You know, religion can help you like get o- get over things and all that, and yeah. like cool. <laughs> but uh, more in depth answer could help too. Yeah, like, like with what you're trying to say. Like I, I just don't like the other using religion as a stepping st- stool to actually help them like quote unquote uh, push this narrative. Because like honestly, if you just erase that, the story will still be the same. Yeah, just 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 with a different like a collusion to their trials and what Doctor Fate is saying. Yeah, it's just the trials that don't make any sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Certainly, like, what, what's your personality trait, and which zodiac sign would you be? Yeah, well, yeah, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> like, it's just stupid. Why uh, I say we went on tangents for, for this? Like, <laughs> it's all shit. Yeah, we've uh, huh. 
so far the series for me is like a six out of ten for me. Slightly above yeah, average. Give it a five. So average. So okay, average, yeah. but low average. What do you think, Arena? I'm enjoying I'm enjoying some of it, but I didn't really get the religious part, but now that you guys are pointing it out, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, I I give it average. I I liked the other seasons way more than this one. And I mm-hmm. maybe it is because of the jumping around in the stories. I thought it was okay at first. I was saying earlier, I just don't like flashbacks of everything. And it's every episode now where there's a flashback. So I don't really enjoy that that much. Yeah. My main problem is that it's for characters that don't need it. Yeah. Like uh, these flashbacks would be so useful if, if like, uh, you know, if you, like, if we're like B list heroes, like, you know, just heroes you don't even know of. Vandal Savage is just a, like, uh, he, you pretty much can get what he is by just a description of his whole, like, uh, achievements and all that. Like, you know, just a few things. You could just say a few words. Like, he's an immortal human from, like, the caveman era. And he's been, like, you know, conquesting and all this. Yeah. Like, you, you can tell what his whole thing is. Like, uh, the, if you watch the, the, season, the seasons prior to um, Tigress and her, like, sister, you can tell her whole um, conflict. And so you didn't need a backstory for that. Satara was actually the only good one because it was new. And I guess all the other backstory is, is um, I'm forgetting it's Nabu, which you, yeah, you already Nabu. knew his, his thing. Yeah, Nabu. Yeah. He's yeah. out of order for right? Oh, yeah. Well, out and then order, in, in, the fam- like, in the family one, they explained Orphan a little more because mm-hmm. I didn't really. Yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't usually get an explanation, which I was happy for. Like, yeah. they actually explained a bit about her. But. They they only gave her like that one cutting and just moved on. Yeah, and then I, it was cool. It was cool seeing the Joker. <laughs> I just oh, yeah. I just yeah. like I already told you why I dislike him. He doesn't get regular angry. He gets dark humored ha- angry. He does jo- something, yeah. yeah, like as a joke, <laughs> not like oh, I'm a baby. Blow this shit up. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> it was cool to see a different take on the idea of the killing joke. Instead of her getting shot, she got. Shanked, shanked, shanked. Yeah, like, <laughs> not shanked. <laughs> if she gets shanked, that will be like a sword will be popping through the other side of of um Barbara. No more babies for her either. I guess no more walking until she gets that cyber in- implant. Yep. If they ever do that, because I know some people hated the fact that she got her legs back, but eh, why? This is a superhero world. Like, come on. Well, I know they sometimes like, the way to do it is bullshit sometimes. But. Well, they liked the idea of a crippled hero being able to over, like, overcome and be like still useful even though she's in a wheelchair. Well, I understand that, but make it uh, somebody but, else. Like, yeah, like, sorry, I, I mean, Batgirl like, was Batgirl before she was Oracle. Yeah. yeah, and if she got her legs back, she could be back out on the field. I mean, as Oracle, she's just helping... From the computer, which was good, but she could be out of the field again. Because I'm pretty sure in a universe where like you get your legs back, I'm pretty sure every crippled person in the world would get their legs back. Like would <laughs> yeah. not would not oh nah. Nah. Like seriously, anything that's like deafness, blindness and like, you know, like cripple being crippled is just gone in a world of superheroes. Well, you would still have to have the money though. And the reason why she would get it back is because Bruce Wayne yes. would flip but, in the money for it. Just like it's the same yes, thing but, where, where Batman, you know, cause they have that, where, you know, when Batman gets his back broken, he had to go back and train and learn how to walk again and all that stuff. But then, you know, he perceived and went, but he also could throw a lot of money that way to, so he could get healed faster or go anywhere where he could, you know, find solutions to heal himself. So, yeah, but like in a superhero world where, you know, as time goes on, technology gets better and better. So it'll get cheaper and cheaper. Like, you know, like the it's like a, an iPhone. Like if you buy an earlier iPhone, you get like a cheaper model. So like uh, with prosthetics like these, you, you're not going to get the best right away because you don't have the money to pay for that. But you get the cheapest option, which won't be that expensive. Yeah, because, well, uh, but then but then it also depends on insurance. Because 
because that's <laughs> that is a, in our world. If if it's like based on our world where it a little bit is, it's insurance. If you don't have insurance, you're not going to get the care that you need. So if we're talking about insurance, oh. to real world, we were in the blank. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Well, yeah. And also, you live in a you could live in a country where they have free health insurance. That would still be the waiting in line type of thing, and I think yeah. that would still be. You know, you have to throw money at it. Just like, you know, if Iron Man needed something, he could just, he has so much money he built well, himself. If he lost like his, yeah. if he lost his legs, he has the nanotechnology to, you know. Well, yeah, I remember in this world, though, where you have heroes that control all this stuff, they probably, they might just give it away for free. Oh, yeah. You have like heroes that can just, um, like, you know, we they can make them, and then there's ones that can make them make them with like um, particles and all that, like yeah. making it like. They don't. They, they have then, to go through a company. And we're forgetting another like a part of the equation, which is healers. Yeah, There's healing a lot powers. Of so ooh, the things ooh. that uh, <laughs> the hospitals and all that <laughs> would be very different with like um, healer heroes. Yeah, like because, that uh, one kid, that uh, the one of the Sentinel kids, the Islam one. Yeah. He's a doctor. Using yeah, he, magic. he can heal. And like that, that you, like, you can get, there's going to be a lot of heroes that do it for free. Just because they're not there for money and they have the power to do it, so might as well, you know, help people. Like, just have people like out there just walking around with powers that can heal people. Yeah, I don't know. I think there'd still be that issue yeah, of people that wouldn't want that done, or like the Incredibles oh. where they get sued. Oh, you saved me! I'm gonna sue you because of the the heartache that you saved me. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt my back. <laughs> but yeah, then the, the thing that Incredible is like a, a peek at what it could be, but it's also way different because there's going to be hero lawyers too. There's yeah. it's just going to be a big conflict with a different gray area of problems, which we don't have, which we can't imagine because we don't live in that type of world. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a, there's a lot of areas like there's just going to be problems that are the same as ours, and then there's going to be problems that are equal to other things that, as ours. <laughs> well, that was one thing my son asked me he said he said dad so if you could have a world with superheroes or pokemon what would you choose and i was all well we've seen on tv the bad part of having a superhero everybody having a superpower or people getting superpowers i was like eh, maybe pokemon because at least you know old 10 year old kids you you get to leave <laughs> You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but there's just, there's just, there's Once they're ten years old, you're all by. You got to start your training. <laughs> but, <laughs> but there's also rogue Pokemon in that world, which like do do property damage in the background, and not uh, like in the foreground where where you see Ash adventuring, because it, it, there's more background details than that. What like you know news and all that to the universe. So like it's just it's debatable. They're still same problems, just different things doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess if you based it on the cartoon, because I think the movie was different, right? There was just Pokemon. There wasn't actual well, tr trainers. Yeah, no, no, or... They had battles. They had battles. They had battles because um, yeah. I don't remember them. Okay, well, he's a big Pokemon trainer and he left home at 10. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> and he, he traveled. Yeah, he traveled the world to catch Pokemon. <laughs> but the thing is, also... Animal rights groups would be so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, even in our world, they told like I think what was it, PETA? Is that the animal rights group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they made like they made a whole article about how Pokemon is just a glorified dog fighting game. It is <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, but I can't I disagree. Like, I was like, bruh, it's a video game. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, it's a video game and show. But, like, oh my god, the animal rights activists would be so... Oh, they're not killed? Yeah, there's a, they don't have the same problems. It's like, um... What's got... Women would have gotten power, like, you know, their rights way faster in the super old world than uh, than ours. Because yep. uh, Amazons, uh, or even, like... Yeah, Amazonians and fucking um, super, super powered women, like, in that world. Like, uh, equality would have been achieved way faster. And that, and that just brings the spectrum of, like, um... Biology, but yeah, biology, like um, being like, you know, what defines us, like what makes like men are physically stronger and women aren't, like would be way more different because it'd be more about what particular power they have. Yeah. 
like it because the uh, equ- like being physically stronger or or st- weaker doesn't really matter when you have a power. <laughs> yeah, so it just be defined way differently. Like of course, like you you get those uh, non-powered people, which is where are like that like you see in the in the universe, which would probably like like it doesn't make sense of how they they split across like saying that superpowered people are, are bad. Like this is mainly Marvel. Like that this meta humans are evil. Ew! Oh, Spider Man! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense, huh? Yeah. So, like, you know, superpowered beings and like and, and non superpowered would be like more united and se- segregated, and you just have all this, and like they'll be living in a far more futuristic world than we would, by like uh, by because there's intelligent based heroes too, like you know that are just way more smarter and all that, and that could be making things. It'd be way different. Well, I mean, people and, could read minds and all that stuff. I mean, if you think of anything and you're around those type of person, you're all. I, I was just hey, think, imagine them in the law enforcement. Yeah, oh they, yeah, they, interrogations would be a lot easier. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I mean, that's why you would need a you lawyer. This girl? Yeah, you're all. Well, he looked into my mind without my lawyer being present. So yeah, he didn't have a warrant. Yeah. He didn't have a search warrant for my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just different problems, you know. <laughs> and what was the original topic? <laughs> we were just making tangents off of Young Justice. So what were yeah, we it, was, it was Young Justice, and we moved on to something else. <laughs> we we did too much uh, conversation parkour. <laughs> yeah, <it's> the nerds. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess we can just move on now. <laughs> <laughs> like. Like I was just thinking, like, what was the original topic? What, <laughs> like, we're just going well, tangent about some some. Oh, other we were part talking like... about uh, Barbara being. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, me- yeah, medical, medical stuff. Yeah, medical stuff. Uh-huh. Getting her legs back. Yeah. It's just different yeah. problems. Same, same, like you know, things. Yeah, same shit, different problem. <laughs> same shit, different toilet. <laughs> we literally been on Young Justice for like I believe like an hour and more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there was a lot to discuss, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm disagreeing, but <laughs> Okay, so before we wrap it up, Wolf, what could what do, what could they do that could like cause obviously we think they have about twelve more episodes. What could they do to bring it back? To end bring up your rating. End the season. End the, end the season? <laughs> just end you just need a full full load like I've just new idea, make it concrete and make that the whole like drive. You know, you could have those plot ideas, like, you know, those occasional new, like, other things to do, do things, but there's too many stories, and so far, if they, if they fix it now, it'll be awkward. Yeah. Because, like, you'd be watching, like, oh, this is, this is, okay, I see, I see what's going on. And then, you know, the story suddenly gets good. It'd yeah. just be, like, an awkward, like, it, 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 I'm not saying it'd be unenjoyable, unenjoyable, but it'd be um, just a really awkward of a rhythm for, like, a show to take. So I say just just continue doing this bad like rhythm and just watch <laughs> it, whatever. So like well, it, I want to see more Geo Force too. I just thought about that. Yeah, but we're not gonna see them at least like like it's Red Hood. He's gonna definitely be shown as a as a oh, yeah. season for teaser. I, with, all be a teaser. Going, with all the shit going on, I completely forgot that Red Hood even exists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he's gonna be a, a definite teaser to like the end of the season to to yeah. like tease the next season. Well, that's what's gonna suck though. I don't, because if they do another season, it's just going to be another time skip. Yeah. And although I don't think this season had that as big of a time skip, but it was definitely like, I think. A, a, a How old is going to that one be? He's going to be like fucking 50. Yeah. <laughs> like starting to sprout great hairs. We're going to start, we're going to show Batman Beyond at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, Batman. He's fucking an old age now. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. probably like, he has his Batman Beyond suit. Fighting crime. <laughs> At least we know uh, Wonder Woman and fucking Superman, uh, Superman and Lewis is, are like doing fine. Yeah, they're they're great. Why Let's is see. this season named Phantoms? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, I was wondering. Know. I was like, why is it named Phantoms? Like, Usually, they they follow like a trope by the name, and we don't know <laughs> why. Let's see if they have a bullshit reason. Why is they're, she's, they're not even being like secretive or anything like that. They're just uh, doing regular shit. They're not. They're not. They're they're doing more explaining than bringing up secrets. If, if explaining, you know, like throwing away a secret is is, is being phantom. Like, come on, man. 
I guess they're doing it right since they're not keeping <laughs> secrets or anything. Like that. <laughs> what, what's the other topic? Like uh, Matrix? Uh, yeah, we can jump to the Matrix. I hated it. You go. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. You hated it. I. It was that so bad. Annoyed. Why was it that I, bad? I, I just couldn't be. I just could not be interested in it. I, mean, I guess they, the action and CGI was cool. <laughs> yeah, I would say when, when it's just regular fights and all that. Yeah, but when they actually tried doing like the the, the you know, Matrix fights, like you know, with rubber banding their fucking Whoa. like bodies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really, it was really awkward to see. And also, where's the green tent? Where's the green and blue tent? Green for the virtual and blue for the real life. Like, where is it? <laughs> no, no green tent, but the game can get it right. You know, fucking green tent in that game. I, I just didn't. The, the, the characters were like, I like how it started off. Like, it, it started off like strong. Like, like I liked it. But once you got to like the blue haired chick. Uh, like uh, she, like they drew her in, like you, you were, you were supposed to know who she was already. Like, oh, like right in the when the beginning when she's back in the, I, th- I think it was supposed to be a mod or something like that. <laughs> uh, when she's in the background watching the fake Trinity oh, yeah. do the spin, that's when they introduced her. Yeah, like they well they introduced her like nice, but once you get to like that, she meets um Neo. Oh, Neo, like, okay. You know, you know, trying to trying to like you know how they explain her factory like she was just looking at him jumping off a roof and then he disappeared like it never happened. And then that opened my mind and I saw the explanation I needed for her. Who is this character? <laughs> Who's this wonder a window washer? Like, <laughs> and how does she, how does the, how did she like you know come out of the simulation? Like you just don't just look up and see somebody committing suicide and just disappear and I'd be like, huh, huh. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, what am I doing in this 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 world? <laughs> this is fake. I'm real. Everything is simulation. Like, what happened to that her? That reminds me of the inmates at jail. <laughs> Remember, Peg? Uh, the which, which part? In the no, Matrix no. or when, in real life? When oh, we in the jail. <laughs> well, we were. Like also, the there was a jail. The, 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 which the, the crazy, the crazy inmates are like, this is all a simulation. Oh yeah, that, not yeah. Real. <laughs> you're not. <real>. Like, <laughs> well, we're real enough to hear you, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it was just stupid. Like, uh, like once you get to Neo, she's like it betrayed us. This character that you, you already know the background of, and then they introduce her squad. Like, like you know them already. Like, who are they? <laughs> well, because it's like 60, 60 years later. And like, uh, were you did were these characters in the past movie? Like, uh, it, no, the only character that was in the last movie was Niobe. Yeah, I know. So. I know that. And <laughs> but uh, like, are any of these new characters from the last movie? Doesn't sound like a yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. Which I I kind of wish that they had. Because they had a boy in the last movie that Neo saved. And he was kind of like uh, Neo's shadow. You, I think he was in the third, the last one where where you see him. And then they showed him also in the Animatrix, which I kind of wished he was in there. Like, and stuff. So they would have like some kind of connection besides just Neo and Trinity. And then the program, the program of Morpheus. <laughs> which but, uh, that's what I liked how they explained that stuff in the movie. They had to explain but, a whole new everything again. And that's what yeah. kind of put, that's what kind of put me off the movie was in the beginning. I was all when they were in the background and they were watching the first part of the matrix where, where the guy comes in and then you see the Morpheus guy trying to, to say, Oh, there she's, they're already dead or whatever. I was confused on that, and then to, see, to for them to say, "Oh, this is a modded old old program." I don't know why they're doing this. That's the only thing that put me off in this movie is they had to explain a lot. Where I was just so okay. Well, let's get to how is Neo back, and why is Morpheus a program, and why how is he still back in the Matrix when he died at the end, and then then you see Trinity again, and you're all oh, she died already. And it just took a long time to get to that point where, oh, well, they're not actually them. They're rebuilt. They're 
basically nanotechnology too. So they're basically, you know, not yeah. themselves either. <laughs> but uh, like seriously, from watching the whole movie, all I get is, is literally Matrix: the quest to find my girlfriend. <laughs> 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 that forever love. <laughs> mm-hmm. But and certainly yeah, the whole movie, like, like um... you had side conflicts and all that with Smith. But it was really finding, like, you know, Trinity. Like, there was nothing else. But, like, once he found Trinity, practically the movie was, uh, like, over. Yeah. Well, that, I, that, that was another problem that I had, too, where I was talking to, my, to Jody about it, my wife. And I was like, so if there was some other guy that, you know, an ex-boyfriend or something, and then he came back, and you're just a oh, well, I loved him before I loved you, so you're done. <laughs> Because it didn't seem like she had a bad marriage, except, um, or he was, I, I think the program was more controlling in her marriage. Because it didn't seem like he was a bad guy, but it seemed like he was a controlling guy. It reminds me of the, um, reminds me of Outcast, or Castaway. 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 <laughs> like, when he comes back and his wife is just remarried and has kids. Yeah, and kids. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I thought yeah. you were dead. Yeah, but then wow. would, would Trinity's kids, so I mean, even though they were a program, uh, you know, if if they just had the kids come in there and not the husband and grab her the way the husband did, I think that she would have stayed in the program for her fake kids because yeah. a mother, she, she, the motherly, the motherly thing with kids is, you know, I yeah. I don't think that in the Matrix that Trinity would. If they just had, if the program just had the kids come in, I think that, you know, that story would have been over. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, her, her whole relationship with her um, simulated um, family is that she didn't seem happy with her husband. And not because of, like, any normal means. It's mainly because she feels like something's off. Yeah. Like, the, like you know, something's wrong. And it isn't much of the, of the husband or the kids. It's just her because of her... Um, you know, what happened to her in her actual past life, quote unquote, which is her real one. Her real life. <laughs> yeah. Which, like, you know, what what happened there? Like, you know, she feels like something's missing in her, so she, she's fighting that because she thinks it's wrong, but also not. But, like, it's just that I did not like the whole, um, pretty much the, the movie ending with, like, hey, look, I found my girlfriend. And then just the whole shit fucking like, coming to a conclusion. Uh, and what's your, tune in next time to see what we do. Mm-hmm. Do we make a family? Or do we go back to the place where uh, I was hated? Yeah. Yeah. Rainbow, rainbow skies. and uh, <laughs> I think Neil Patrick mm-hmm. Harris played the bad guy pretty good. Though. I liked yeah, him. <laughs> he did. I didn't like his time like thing. Like, uh, it was cool. But how he did it was... Uh, really iffy for me they have like uh, this state-of-the-art cgi and that still felt super meh oh the free like, the freeze or slowing slowing time basically that's what he did yeah like frozen that's not frozen. Yeah, slowing time and just uh like the way how they made him like uh you know beast like not slowed but oh the tra- the trail behind him like flash yeah like flash does mm-hmm. i like forget that. what's the actual name of it yeah but yeah, uh, after yeah, he, his, uh, after, after image. image, yeah, after yeah. image, and like uh, they they just didn't do that right because he he was so choppy with his like mouth because he did too his like his whole character, <laughs> so like his lips were also going like he he's talking but his lips were going up at like you know slow rates and all that because the after image and I just didn't like that. Well, and they, then it made it more clear. It and then clear. Agent Smith, he he beat up the newer program pretty easily again. Mm-hmm. And then that, that, that's what it, it reminded me of uh, the what if when Ultron and the old program goes into Ultron and the old program wins, but Ultron's the higher AI. Why wouldn't the higher AI win? <laughs> it's not like I could put a old video card in my computer and make it run games s- smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's like, you know, go, going to like get a virus from like, one, like early 2000s, like thing. <laughs> like, you know, computer, and just uh, putting it in your piece, your computer on purpose, and you're just seeing what happens. Like, most likely nothing's going to happen because your antivirus will fight it. Just yeah, fucking, it like, you doesn't know. know what the... It, it's not familiar with anything. The corrupt, it, it can't. <laughs> yeah, like... 
it's not going to work. And it's just that it's stupid because older technology is not going to be able to combat future. It's yeah. just, that's unless, not how it's meant to be. We, unless it's just like, unless it's supposed to be like the idea of like this is some alien AI or this is an AI that was like from a civilization where technology was so advanced. It's, it wasn't in this case. It was just, <laughs> it was older. It, they, there's no way they knew that they could have prepared this AI to fight this type of technology. Yeah, it isn't like uh, fucking future we all make our passwords password, you know? Our shit's so secure. Yeah. By the way, a little bit off topic, so I was trying to find out why they called it Phantoms, right? Mm-hmm. And I found their promo poster. Guess what the promo poster is? What is Beast it? Boy Hanging? <laughs> it's literally just the you know the six that we said the the main or main seven whatever yeah yeah that's what about that's it? what that's it's just that's the characters on the promo coaster you got Nightwing Aqualad Tigress Miss Martian Superboy you know all the original team even though like none of them are in the show hardly <laughs> <laughs> pretty much and, and I was also looking they've only had three arcs doesn't it feel like way more than that. Yeah. The Young Justice story is kind of dragging on. This story is dragging on for me. Yeah, like there's only three arcs. Like they 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 allegedly have only had three stories. But it feels like way more. Yeah, it feels like anyway, sorry to change the topic. Anyway, continue. <laughs> um, oh, I think we said our piece about Matrix unless you want to say why you Well, you already explained why you hated it. Hated it. You couldn't just get into it. At all, I, I, I think the movie think. would have like would have been good if it weren't Matrix. Labeled it, it a different like sci-fi movie, something else, something that's similar to Matrix, and then just um then there you have like a decent fucking sci-fi movie. It's but since this is, I guess like, yeah, But since this is like trying to like um, you know, reference like a, a prior like a uh, existing like a uh, universe. Universe plots, like, you know, like the older Matrix trilogy, it's not yeah. doing a good job. Yeah, they're I just like, don't like it. They're like trying to do a reboot, but at the same time continue off the story from a franchise that hasn't had a new movie in, what, over a decade? Yeah. When was the last Matrix movie before? Was it like 2005, 2004? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, like, I think like, it was 2004. It's not friendly for newer viewers, and it's not friendly towards old fans so you yeah. just are just sitting here confused like huh? like who, who yeah you, you'd be like who's uh, neo who's <laughs> trinity yeah i don't know who this guy is like you learn more about like if you watch again. this like uh, so the last one the last one was uh they had two of them come out in 2003 reloaded and revelations came out the same year So I think one of them came out probably in the beginning of the year, and then the other one came out the end. Yeah. And now we can't yes. even get now we can't even we can't get new anime seasons for like two years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like I said, I enjoyed seeing the old characters again. Well, you know, and stuff, but I I liked how they explained it and how Neo was kind of going crazy and stuff like that. But it's not actually still it's not actually him. The robots rebuilt. Him, so you know it's yeah. it's a fabricated him. So and I think if they didn't have it free on HBO, I would be upset to pay ten dollars to see this movie at the theaters. But since right. it was free and I got to watch it, you know, <laughs> I'm I was I was satisfied. I was satisfied with it. I don't I don't I don't think it was the best movie I've watched this year, but it was it was okay. It was okay. Movie. Well, it just didn't live up to the name Matrix. Yeah, that's yeah. the main. Part. Yeah, and I and I agree with agree with that. It didn't live up to the name, and I don't know if they're gonna have another one, a part two and stuff. But if they do, I think they shouldn't have Neo or Trinity in it. Focus on the those new characters and stuff, so they could have, so they could go into the Matrix and oh. stuff like that. And that was the, one of the problems I did have with the old Matrix was their team died out. It was kind of like you know Star Trek. They're they're the red, uh, the red jersey guys who get killed off, <laughs> that, and that was Neo's team. Everybody in Neo's team got killed except 
you know, Morpheus, Neo, and Trinity. But, you know, that was their base of their story was always around them. So I understand that. But there was some characters that were in the old Matrix that I wanted to know who those characters were. They were cool characters. It seemed like they were really cool characters, but they just killed them off really quick. So if they're going to reboot the Matrix, I would like to see newer characters go into the Matrix and stuff like that. But I did like all the action parts and stuff like that. That did kind of live up to the name. And um, yeah. all the little flashbacks that they had to remind people who haven't watched the three Matrix again, you know, you know, with the bullets and all that stuff where you see in, you know, a whole bunch of movies now where they make fun of the Matrix. You know, it was nice seeing that stuff to me. Yeah, but that still doesn't help a, a new <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't help like, a new it's, it's, They do see like this, wow, he did that? And I'm expecting to think he could do that again. <laughs> like, you introduce that like it's like what, what do I have to actually stand on yeah. other than just seeing like this flashback and just well and, and, and I think that was another part of this movie too is it's trying to make you watch the other three movies that are also free on you know HBO plus HBO Max where you could watch those three too so you could watch the the new Matrix and be like oh well now I want to watch the other three so I mean and. I think that's what um, some movies are trying to do now, too, is, okay, well, we're going to have this come out, so they will want to watch the older movies again. Yeah. yeah. The, young, the younger crowd. <laughs> the younger crowd. If they actually like this movie, which is from, like, you know, for, like, it's continuing the uh, universe, they will watch the other ones the that other they haven't already. The, the, the things that you're supposed to get them to be, you got to get them hooked. Not just be like, I wonder what these other movies are. Because yeah, once they watch those, like Matrix, like Resurrection, literally, if they watch the other ones and get their the whole point, they're gonna be like, "This movie was bad." <laughs> like, it's not, it's, that's not a good thing if the movie you're you're doing it to to like um, redirect people to watch older movies. It's not good if the movie is bad because they're gonna realize that. But yeah, I I used to like the movie. It was just um, really iffy. Yeah, I can't really see a, a new viewer actually enjoying it without being confused. They they can enjoy the the, the CGI and the world and uh, those uh, fights, but not much of the more in depth things. So, ready to talk about Hit Monkey? Hell yeah! All right. So, Hit Monkey is about a monkey that can hit. <laughs> yeah, go watch it on Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Watch yeah. it. Nah, yeah, what do you think, Reno? Yeah, Reno. Uh, I, I really, I never read the comics. I didn't really know who the character was at all. So when I started watching it, first I thought it was gonna be. I thought the hitman was gonna turn into a monkey <laughs> because you know he was in he was in the uh, he's in the hot spring, and then they're you know trying to heal him and spitting things in the mouth, spitting uh, things in the mouth, <laughs> spitting. Uh, <laughs> food in his mouth and I was just like, oh and I really like the hitman the hitman character guy he is yeah. funny uh, I mean I well like done. yeah I like those kind of uh, anti-hero type guys where where they're just so talkative that either they're oh he's not an anti-hero yeah, yeah. He, he was a hitman yeah he was a hitman he, he just yeah but um, I like those kind of characters where they're they just talk so much that you know they're either really funny or really annoying type characters, which he's really funny, especially his references to old movies and stuff like that, where, yeah. you know, I, I just think that's hilarious. And then when, um, so when I actually realized that, oh, it's the monkey and that he's a ghost attached to the monkey. And then, <laughs> and then they're just the, um, how the monkey is, even though the monkey doesn't talk and he talks too much, the character development between those two are just, really satisfying to me <laughs> it's yeah, it's right? just funny all around and how he's just all he how he's telling him to kill and then when i i haven't watched them all but the last the last episode when they're trying to kill um the rooster and there's like yeah. five different roosters and actors and stuff and he's he's like waiting to descend he's all i'm gonna turn into a ball of light what the hell <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's just so funny. And then um, the other episode I like, too, is when he is jealous of the monkey that he has such a big... Okay. Yeah, so, him, such a big bounty him. on him, and he's just jealous, and he's all, well, I'm going to let you handle it on your own. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> I just <laughs> love that. So I, 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 I'm enjoying the, I'm enjoying this uh, animation right now. The animation is really good and crisp, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the show. Yeah, can't wait for you to get to, like, I think there's 10, 10 episodes in total. 10 episodes? Yeah. Yeah, 10 episodes. So. Yeah, like, I can't wait for you to finish it, because, it, honestly, like, it's a really good show. I, I enjoyed it, like, um, from start to end. I, I like the, the concept of a monkey being a hitman. <laughs> and I think the episode I that you are here, yeah, I think the episode yeah, <laughs> that you, you left off from, I think he comes up to quote that I'm a killer. That, no, I'm a, I only kill killers. Yeah, I only kill killers. That's his, that's his code. <laughs> yeah. I only kill killers. It's like, you don't want a code. Code hold you back. <laughs> The the rat thing. Oh my god, he's all, all he's right. all. I told you <laughs> that rat is <laughs> that rat doesn't help you because it bit him. And then he's talking yeah. to the rat. He was all still. <laughs> he's all yeah. well. A code is good, but when you could break the code, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I I like that. Uh, like it's a typical uh, quote in fucking every antihero because it, like as Punisher's one, he's a killer that kills killers. He's not a hitman. <laughs> but it's, a, it's an overused one, just in different uh, types of ways. That was but, the uh, I like uh, that was the comic book that she was reading too. When um, the monkeys in her backyard, that one girl that the monkeys in love with, and she's reading a comic book. She's reading The Punisher. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love how they do the y- yakuza stuff too. Oh fuck oh, yeah! I like how they're, they're all like, they gotta kill that monkey. Yeah. <laughs> He's after <laughs> us. <laughs> Like, they're all, like, uh, panicking because, it, you know, the, he's killing, like, he started off from, like, the regular, like, Yakuza thugs all the way to, like, you know, to their leaders and then just kept going up and up and up until, uh, uh, I'm not sure if you're there yet, so. No, if, if you're at the rooster, he, he killed, like, the whole room. Yeah. Yeah, he, he killed, like, all the, the Yakuza, like, uh, bo- like heads. Yeah, I think so, the, like, you know, they're, they're, the last they're, they're scene, people. the last scene I've seen is, uh, there's a girl now who flew in to Japan and uh, she was up in her hotel room and she puts on her mask and she has a bullseye in the lady bullseye. Yeah. So I was just, oh, okay. Well, now yeah, he's so going, now he's going into real. You, you start seeing that he's fighting against big league, like um, Hitman now yep. or hit woman. Since that's uh, the one you saw, she's the main antagonist for the rest of the episodes. For the rest of the episodes. Oh, okay. Cause now he's just yeah. not, not killing everyone because <laughs> he's that monkey's just a badass <laughs> he's just killing everybody that uh has um bad origins like you know that are either cor- corrupt like currently you know part of the like you know a- anything that's uh bad like if they change earlier like um change like after that he's like they don't kill him but anybody <laughs> that's uh, you know quote unquote a bad person yeah Oh, and then and then he still has problems with it too, where he sees his the aura of his uh, leader, the leader monkey. Well, I think that um, he's he's kind of killing blindly because um, he he's trying to kill people without feeling regret. Yeah. And well, and uh, and the like, go- the and the actual hitman is like his conscience, <laughs> which isn't good. He's just kill yeah. everyone. Kill that guy. Yeah. Wait, there's kill another there's another rooster. There's another rooster guy. <laughs> I just killed them all. I need to ascend. <laughs> yeah. But like uh, the thing that uh, he's like, you know, every time when he sees something like close to that person he killed, he kind of feels regret because he he knows he's taken somebody from somebody else. And that's not what he's fighting for. So like it's just uh, that little curse about I, li- I like um that um, little conflict that he has. Not much of a spoiler, but uh, towards the uh, like the final episode, um, he goes to New York, and I wonder what they're gonna do there. Oh, okay, so it goes to. Uh, it would be yeah, cool if they like showed other like villains, like the Silver Samurai. Well, I just wonder what he's gonna do in New York. Fight Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man's like, good monkey. Oh my god, cut my hand off. Well, they did. They did <laughs> say something about Kingpin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
And they did. Anything. They did. Inter- if you've been watching uh, Hawkeye, they did introduce Kingpin into Hawkeye. I haven't really watched up that far. I do want to. I probably watch it some some other time when I feel like I care. <laughs> when we feel like torturing ourselves. Mm-hmm. Well, would you rather watch Hawkeye or Matrix? Hawkeye. <laughs> Uh, if I were to rewatch anything, it would be Hawkeye. Hawkeye, I'd do like three times. Yeah, well, I think we watched what the episode three. Yeah, so there, how many episodes are there? Like nine, five? Is it what? I don't know. Yeah, I think there's, there's probably five or six. There, there. Yeah, there really wasn't that many. Mm-mm. If there were nine, that would be like close to like a Winter Soldier, like you know, Winter um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Well, I think there is. I think six, six now. I'm not sure though, because they had their their holiday one, and mm-hmm. if they do, because they did introduce Kingpin in there. So if they do have Kingpin, uh, Kingpin's one of my, another one of my favorite villains, stuff. So I'll be happy to see him, because that was one that was Daredevil's main bad guy was Kingpin. Actually, wasn't he shown in the new Spider Man movie? Uh, yeah, Matt Murdock. Yeah. Which that's why I was happy that they introduced that in the Spider Man Two is that now he that Netflix series is actually introduced to the MCU. Yeah, well, then I'm, I I kind of hate that because that, I'm not saying the Netflix series was bad at all. It was uh, really good, but he he crossovers with um, what's got um, Iron Fist, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Luke Cage, and uh, some and some other chick and like Jessica, I don't like Jessica. those characters. Jessica yeah, just, Jones, just, I think. Yeah. Or, yeah, Jones or whatever. Like, I, I don't, I don't li- like those uh, interpretation of characters. I kind of just hope. Well, they're probably not going to be forgotten, because if Daredevil is in the, the, the MCU, they're going to bring those guys. You think they will? I, because I mean, Daredevil. That was such a good series. I wouldn't mind Daredevil and the and the Punisher to be introduced to this one. The to the yeah, the, Marvel well, the World. Punisher did good so. I don't mind the Punisher, but I just don't want those those characters to be in, uh, introduced because they they were not by far I say the worst introductions to them. I just don't like them. Like <laughs> they, they were just they, they they're, they're just bad, and especially fucking um what got a uh, spoiled brat's um Iron Fist. Yeah, he I wasn't really. good. <laughs> yeah, Hornet was telling me the same thing. He's all he's all out of all the characters. I just Iron Fist is the least one that he didn't like to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just I just don't like those characters. Daredevil's nice. He's really good. Punisher was was just as good. So th- those two th- deserved a right away to right of passage to the MCU. The other ones they they're not. They don't deserve it. Yeah, and I don't know if they will introduce them because their stories were pretty much done on Netflix. Yeah, but the so, things that is not done on the MCU. Yeah, but I don't think Netflix are going to do anything else with because they would have to get it past Disney, and I think that Daredevil would be the only one. So I don't, yeah, and I don't think I Disney. don't think Netflix has any hand in it. Well, so I think that the rights would all be to Disney to make a new Daredevil on their channel. Well, the things that I, the, I don't think is that it's, is that the it, things that Disney wants Daredevil, so they they took they, they they you know they they negotiated what terms, and so it depends on if they want these other characters from Netflix. Yeah, because Netflix doesn't really have much of a hand on owning these characters. They just make shows. Just, they just make shows. Okay. Well, then and it, and then it's Sony too. So is that going to be part of Disney? Because Sony and um, Spider Man, it's just because. Marvel, Marvel yeah, agreed to negotiate it to help with Spider Man. So is Spider Man still going to be part of the new Avengers team that's going to be coming out? Yeah, so, they've done, so they, they've done a renegotiation on their. Um, what, what so that, that uh, under, yeah, not so, terms, the contract. So they 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 um, have a different contract now, which allows Disney to have more liberty in deciding what to do with Spider Man. With the Spider Man, okay. Because right, that's what um, I was I was wondering too. Because I know they they had Doctor Strange in his movie, and then Doctor Strange's movie is gonna come out, gonna come out next. I think that's the one that comes out next is Doctor Strange. 
Yeah, they just dropped the trailer a couple days ago. Yeah, so Doctor Strange is going to come out next. I don't know if Spider Man's going to be in it in that one at all, though. Yeah. But you know, that, uh, I, I don't. Spider Man wouldn't, wouldn't be in there. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. Well, what is he going to do with the sorcerers? Well, I hear you're running the miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I I heard that this one this Doctor Strange is supposed to be really dark and it opens up you know the, the what yeah, if yeah so the, Doctor that, Strange Supreme the one from yeah the, uh, the what, what if. if yeah so yeah I don't see that they need Spider Man in there at all that's why I was wondering so so they I think Sony would need Disney more than Disney needs Sony yeah. Well, Sony only owns the rights of Spider Man and Fantastic uh, Fantastic Four, don't they? No, that's Fox and Disney owns Fox now. Oh, Disney owns Fox. And then um Disney so Disney owns so Disney owns basically everybody because they own the X Men now. They own Fox. I think there's like I think like Man Thing is owned by Lionheart for some reason. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. And then I don't know. I think there's like a few other heroes. I think Namor is owned by someone too. Yeah, and then, yeah. That kind of we got to get to those uh, those areas where you know some heroes are owned by individuals. Because yeah. They, because uh, Disney Disney at a like not Disney Marvel at a point was so low and like uh, how many people were buying their shit that they, they need to sell off some. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, some ki- some of their heroes. Yeah, so some some are owned by individuals. And it kind of it kind of leads to an area where those, some they're probably getting some contracts back because uh, those individuals are you know dying off, dying off, or didn't sell off their mm-hmm. trademarks. Yep. Well, Disney's just Disney has been doing so good with their writing of characters, even though that even though that the what? Spider the Spider Man movie is. More by Sony, and I think a lot of the Disney, like the internals, didn't that well. Yeah, yeah. but that's mainly because, uh, well, if we're talking about the, the main characters, that's mainly because it's, they're, they're, they're they're written by uh, not not written. they're being directed by somebody that's actually a fan of these characters, like uh, Kevin Feige is his name, and and, and he, he's actually a big Marvel fan. He doesn't he uh, I think he's somebody else directed the the internals, so okay. I'm not saying. That's why I did bad, but I'm saying somebody else did it. Yeah. And yeah, I know just... Bl- Black Widow was a kind of a disappointment to a lot of people. Um, well, they changed characters. Yeah. They well, turned Taskmaster into something else that he's not. Yeah. And then that's what a lot of people are said about. That's why a lot of the movies that have came out well, that were basically movie... just for the Disney part of it, they really haven't done good. And then Spider Man has just came out and Spider Man is doing really good, but that's in co- co- cooperation with Sony and Disney. So, yeah, but like, um, what's gonna the only defense I can give is uh, give to Black Widow is that it was a dis- massive disappointment to actual fans, to normies. It was fine, it wasn't the worst movie. Like, that's the only thing I can say about it. <laughs> yeah, normies. I enjoyed the movie. It was a good closing to that Black Widow. And then it's an opening to what me and Hornet were talking about last night is where nobody really dies in any of these movies. They always could have a reboot of somebody or somebody could take their spot, like the new Black Widow, her sister. You know, and they also are showing that in Hawkeye, where she comes back and stuff like that. And then. Well, it's kind of like leads to that a-, a name. Like, uh,. You know, the name doesn't die. The yeah. person does. Yeah, the name doesn't die. The person dies. That's a, I. The only thing that I didn't like about the movie was Taskmaster. Because, you know, Taskmaster's a, you know, he's he's a big bad guy in Marvel. He He's fought every well, single one of the Avengers and stuff. And then the, they just the, totally re-changed yeah, that they, they character at all. Yeah, they made the special ability so fucking terrible. <laughs> making it to be Stark Tech is what makes her, like, you know, learn these things. Yeah. And that's, uh, like, you know, like, photo memory. Like, uh, oh, like I forget what it's called, but it isn't called uh, photographic memory. It's, like, something else. But, you know, that, like, that's what made him special, is that you, you use something against him, he, he'll use it against you. Like, yeah. he just learns right there in that way. 
But uh, they, they just went down the wrong road with this version. Yeah, with that. Well, they look like I was telling you before. You could never use that character again. That what that's Black Widow's enemy now. You'll never yeah. see him fight any other Avenger or anything like that. Unlike the comic book where he's always showing up. You know, yeah. there's some like, like he's a he's a hired hit like Bullseye. You know, it would have been so cool to see him fight Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> what if he, where he's scared shitless for fighting him? <laughs> yeah, because he can't copy him. He's too random. Like it would have been funny if, like that would be a cool fight if they done her right. Yeah. I know. They they had to make this this version of um, Taskmaster Master just uh, not even a copycat, just mainly like technology. And yeah. once you impl- implement technology to a character that's supposed to be unique and cool, it doesn't make them cool anymore. Yeah, it just makes it so that anyone can do it. Mm-hmm. They just have to train a little bit with the technology, and then they're good to go. Like, uh, like Iron Man won't be as impressive, like if he just didn't make he kept upgrading suits and adding more like implementations to to them. Yeah, because if if he just had that one suit throughout the whole like you know universe, like you know all those movies, he wouldn't be cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he'd just be Iron Man. Yeah. He wouldn't be Tony Stark who can actually keep improving on his suit. Now he has nanotechnology and all that. Yeah. Like, you see, like, the, you, like you don't, you're not tell, told that, you know, he made this. You're, you're, you're watching him grow as a person and developing this thing. Not, like, directly, but, so, you know, when you pull out nanotech, you're like, cool, fucking hell. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen at some point. And like you know, he he's doing that with everything. Like you know, on Spider Man, um, not Spider Man, Iron Man three, um, which got where he he what's that, where he loses power and like and and somewhere like cold, like where it's snowing, because and he doesn't have it like heating in a suit, so he has to like uh, like walk in the cold, dragging a suit, and like you oh, see him yeah. like in the next, yeah, you see him in the like in the I think it was the Avengers. No, no, not Avengers. Avengers Two is where he implements that, and then especially for Spider Man, where like uh, with Spider Man's Iron Spider suit, it has um, heating, and you can tell that by the when they do zoom into his face, to that screen thing, the hub and the suit. Yeah, you you can like if you're paying attention to all the details, you can see his body heat and all that. And yeah, that's what makes Iron Man cool that he he, he improvises and adapts. All I know is I need to see Hit Monkey in the next Avengers movie. <laughs> <laughs> Or the next Deadpool movie. Ooh, Deadpool would be funny. Right? Like, you know, they're, they're, he teams up with a monkey. That, that's the most <laughs> Deadpool thing I could fucking say. Like, <laughs> so do you think Deadpool would be able to see the ghost? Probably not. But honestly, <laughs> they'd, have to, they'd have to pull something out of their ass. Yeah, Wolverine wouldn't be able to see ghosts, but he'll sense the ghost. But uh, Deadpool doesn't have that heightened sense. Heightened sense. So. <laughs> well, if Death gave him a gift. Yeah, but we haven't seen Death in MCU. At least well, not yet. We know she Perfect she could time be. to introduce. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be weird to explain her relationship. Or his relationship with her. Right. Well, I guess that's what a lot of people theorized was that wasn't actually his girlfriend when he was like dying in the second one, remember? That was actually Death. Oh, that was Death. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. We you can only see in Deadpool three. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I remember. I still remember that scene where, where he, where she died. She got yeah. stabbed, right? I thought she got shot. Oh yeah, shot. No, no, no. I, I remember oh. she, like it was something. I just remember like um, Deadpool like holding her, and then, like something happened to like on her back. It's been a while since I watched the movie. Yeah, but then I remember like with like the guys that were there. He like just hugged him, and he like just walked out the window with him. <laughs> well, what other thing we have to talk about? Favorite Christmas movie? <laughs> oh yeah, what's your favorite Christmas movie, Wolf? Um, Elf. You know. Elf? Really? Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, I watch Elf a lot, but that I think that's my wife's favorite Christmas movie. I don't know. Like, uh, I've got to think about this. Uh, what's yours? So I don't waste time here. Reno. National Lampoon uh-huh. Christmas Vacation. I like that one. Huh. But I mean, I still like the classics too, like. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the actual puppet one, when he goes to the oh. Misfits. 
yeah, Misfits I know it's place the, and stuff like that. Yeah, I know I mean, exactly. Those are the one. Those are the Christmas stuff I grew up with. Was that a Christmas story? So I mean, I I like watching those. I can't, I can't. I don't watch them all the time, but you know, usually when there's Christmas, I sit down with my kids and I watch those, and you know, they like it because it's the old, you know, style of drawing, yeah. Frosty the Snowman stuff like that. I enjoy it, and uh, we always watch uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. We watch that on Halloween, and we watch that on Christmas or. Okay. You know, during Christmas, I like I like the Christmas Carol. Ooh, got that. Yeah, that's that's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I think Wolf and I just watched that recently together. We did. Yeah, that's such a good movie. I don't know. There's like a lot of there's a lot of other little movies. So I just I like this time of season. Like I, it sucks because everyone seems to hate Christmas so much this time, or they like they like to act all naked in routine. <laughs> They're so cool because they, like, they hate Christmas, but um, <laughs> I like this time. I like the Christmas. I like Christmas songs. I like the movies. I could. Like, I, I could do those... without Christmas songs. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> oh, and then, dumb, 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 dumb. yeah. I mean, some of the movies I could do without, but I mean, I I do. I like the oldies. I like I said, I like the oldies. I like uh, Polar Express. Right is and stuff like Guardian that. the Christmas movie? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Technically, with, yeah. With Jack Frost yeah. and all them, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I just watched that one, too. And I remember all, like, the, oh, my goodness, the Christmas specials <laughs> for, like, Cartoon Network. Oh, they used to be the greatest. <laughs> See, and that's the thing, now is they don't really... Yeah, I mean, I don't, really I don't have regular TV, so I can't say they don't really show that stuff anymore, but, you know, all the... All the stuff we have is just online. So I think HBO, it's either HBO or Disney has all the Home Alones on there. Netflix has their holiday stuff on there. You can watch the Santa Claus and things like that. So, I mean. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> that was a good one, too. I, I, I never actually watched that one in English. Huh? What did you yeah. watch? In Spanish? Yeah, in Spanish. Always in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> How, wait, how, wait, how do you say Grandma got ran over by a reindeer in Spanish? Well, or is there even a translation? Uh, I don't. I don't. I forgot the word for reindeer. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's, I don't remember. I remember the song specifically very well. Like it was a really good song. Like it was on Spanish. I remember watching the movie. It's actually really like it wasn't uh, even the, the like it. Uh, so it's like a. Just really interesting because uh, like Santa got sued in there, right? Yeah, he got sued because he <laughs> hit and run or something. Um, mm -hmm. And just kidnapped her. Yeah. But, I uh, remember, dude, um, I like the, the Tom and Jerry specials. Like the Nutcracker. Tom and Jerry and the <laughs> Nutcracker. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas. A Christmas movie? Yeah. 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 Well, Halloween, see, yeah, but, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll follow like that. One of those, like, uh, see, that's my favorite. I wish more anime had more Christmas specials. I know, like, Sword Art Online had, like, a Christmas episode. Yeah, I just wish there was more, you know, Christmas shit than Christmas. Yeah. Where you rarely um, even see more, like, any Christmas movies or even specials. Like, yeah, now. you really don't anymore. I remember, like, even, like, even, like, even, like, back in the day, like, you'd have, like, Batman, the ba whatever Batman show was going on at the time would have a Christmas special. Christmas special, episode. yeah. They would uh, have a Christmas special. Ooh, Batman Adventure Christmas is like, you know, every time when they had that, it was really actually, it was, I liked it. It seemed yeah. weirdly fitting. I remember Brave and a Bold, Batman on Christmas, he was like, crime don't take a holiday, so neither do I. And then, <laughs> his, and crime is taking a holiday. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Reno, why you hate Christmas carols, huh? huh? I, they huh? just huh? play them too early. Because they start playing them, um, but after right after Thanksgiving, and I just everywhere. Hey, and, I, a, and I think it's because I, I worked some bangers, okay. I worked <laughs> at a movie theater before, and yeah, so yeah, they always play Christmas music right after Thanksgiving, and every time you're cleaning the theater, you're hearing Christmas music. So I think that kind of turned me off of it. And I also worked at J.C. Penney's long time ago as. You know the holiday. So you heard like one of the yeah the one of the holiday people that have to fold the clothes and 
you know, you're not that happy folding clothes and listening to Christmas musical at the same time when people it's, are going to come most, in and, most and start time. rummaging through their stuff. Uh, <laughs> hey, at least when you're a customer, if it makes the, the experience a lot better. <laughs> Doesn't matter if the employee is unhappy. That's your fault for not wearing headphones <laughs> and listening to different music. Go <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> everything else about Christmas I kind of like. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm I'm just just like the the movies not being as frequent anymore. Like I yeah. I, I want like some occasional like three like Christmas movies and that's pretty much it. I don't expect like ten. It's like uh, just a few, just three movies uh, and not another least. Home Alone. Yeah, I don't want reruns of like a uh, fucking Christmas. Like Christmas is a broad uh, scale of imagination. You can think of anything to make it Christmas, but if you make it like a you if you make a reboot. A fucking British kid instead of like a fucking English kid, just being a, like especially chubby too, being yeah. home alone, you know. And well, that just, <laughs> had nothing. I don't what that had nothing to do with home alone at all. They were well, they, they weren't McAllister. even Officer McAllister. <laughs> okay, because I the, the, I only watched like parts of it because my kids were watching it, and I was just still after the people that were coming in were just trying to find an ugly doll. I was so just you sell it for two hundred grand. Yeah, I was just the way I'm, I can't. <laughs> I just couldn't. I was like, I can't watch this. <laughs> well, yeah, there was a part where like Kevin, but his older brother, the the bully. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the in the movie, and it's funny too because apparently his brother calls a pr- a prank call on him every Christmas now about a kid being left alone. <laughs> that's why he didn't. That's why he didn't take the call very serious. <laughs> It's actually a great prank. Right. Like, well, I, I mean, would, too. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, you left me alone twice. <laughs> or, well, left left me in New York. Christmas this year was pretty good. Uh, I mean, besides not having any good shows. But I liked this year for Christmas. It was better than last year. Last year. Well, was... I don't mind, like, rewatching like, Christmas movies. I just want to watch something new. Like, rewatching yeah. is fine. And all that. But, uh, you know, like, a, occasional, like, one new movie in the mix of these old ones. Like, uh-huh. but just make it a little bit more better, because for well, me it doesn't it doesn't snow, so it doesn't. The thing I get is just like outside, it's a, it's a little warm feeling, like a fucking warm, like warm weather, and then you just yeah. like, go back and said like, ah, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we don't really get we get snow some here in Arizona, but not much. Not over well, here. Yeah. Yeah, like for me, like it snows either like. When it does snow, is it only lasts for like the three days, and when right. I mean three days, it only lasts for like fucking the the first day. It starts getting that that weird like moisty, lush. like wet, like lush, like snow. Oh, the, the <laughs> mush. By the third day, yeah, by the third day, it's practically almost gone. Yeah, so you never get the powder. I think that's what they call it. No. Yeah, when the we fresh snow for here, it's, it's like we get like maybe an inch, and then it's gone the next day. I think like for, Flagstaff, you would have to if you want snow you have to go to northern arizona yeah like like seriously georgia's weather is just random but snows isn't part of the random (laughs) you go outside it's cold for like for like a little bit you go back inside to get a coat you can walk outside it's now it's warm (laughs) (laughs) it's literally like it doesn't say stay still for like a while it always gets warm or colder like in some way or even practically it rains for like a week but then it stops like it's just it's the weather just never the same. I think uh, I think that's it though for this week. Thank you guys for joining us. We should be back to our weekly schedule now. Said that last time. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well, last time more stuff happened, but now we're done with the holiday season, so we should be back to our regular scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks, thanks guys for watching. Hope we hope you had a wonderful Merry Christmas. I just got canceled. And, <laughs> and have a good New Year's. Yeah, have, have a happy New Year's. <laughs>